So last week, I had the opportunity to travel to Niagara Falls with the Your Morning team. And our friends at Niagara Parks had a bunch of really, really great new experiences to show us this summer. Starting with the power station. If you've never been, I highly recommend you go. There was so much history to learn about and so much to see, including, this is so cool, a new installation where you can actually see electricity with your very own eyes. Check it out. So welcome to Niagara Falls. I am feeling the power where I'm standing, not just because the falls are right there, but also because I am standing outside the Niagara Parks Power Station. The history of this building is incredible. So we're gonna go inside and take a peek at what you can experience this year. Come on inside. I'm joined this morning by Missy Sauer. You are the Director of Retail and Attractions with Niagara Parks. It is so exciting to be here. Tell everybody why this is the place to be. Well, here at Niagara Parks Power Station, we have a lot of great new things happening for this season, including a brand new installed Tesla coil. What is a Tesla coil, Missy? So Nikola Tesla, as most people know, was an inventor. One of his patents that weren't used in the power station, but we brought into the power station, is the Tesla coil. The way I like to describe the Tesla coil, it's the best way for you to have a visual of electricity. We're gonna do that. But you have to press a button to do this. Can I ask you a question? Sure. I don't know if this is allowed. Can I press the button? I think we can make an exception. Seriously? Yes. Right now? Right now. Okay, let's go. Come. <laughs> Three, okay. two, one. Did I do it? Uh-oh. Did I not do it? <laughs> That was, that was a false start. I didn't hear everybody count. Maybe that was the problem. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. Oh, that was cool. That was Unbelievable. But that's not the only new thing you have here, Missy. Walk with me, because what's this? This is our new audio tour. There are 55 stops that our guests can listen to while visiting the power station. This is called a trigger. Okay. You're actually just going to place your unit close to it. You'll hear it beep, and then the talking will start. So uh, on different artifacts, there are stops, and then also through the four bay and even downstairs in the tunnel. So you actually get to listen to stops all the way through the power station. 55 stops in total, takes about an hour if you were to listen to every single stop along the way. Some of these are real life stories from people who worked here? That is correct. And you actually can hear past employees speaking about their time working here at the power station. That's so special to have that sort of living storytelling history. And explain what these are here that we're looking at. So a lot of people would call this a generator, but it's actually an alternator. There were 11 in total in the power stations. There's a huge piece inside of there that would have been spinning around and around. It was called the rotor. So that would have been spinning around and around nonstop when this was still functioning. When was this station retired? So in 2006, this power station retired. The great story about this one is that it was loved so much by the people that took care of it and worked in it that when they finished work that day, they put down their pencils, they put their work boots in their lockers, and they walked out of this power station. You could have come in the following day and turned it back on. It was in pristine condition. So when we took the power station, it was ready for us to do something amazing with it. Okay, so now we're gonna go down? Yep, okay. This way? All right. This is so exciting. Missy, as we're walking through here, I can't help but think about the people that were working here and how they managed to do this. So this is my favorite spot in the tunnel at the Niagara Parks Power Station. We are standing at the halfway point, and this is where all of the workers were lowered down. So right above us is the what was called the vertical shaft. So the employees were actually lowered in a, in a bucket of sorts. And can you imagine being lowered no. down by a lantern? your pickaxe in hand. There was actually two crews that dug this tunnel. One crew dug away from the power station and one crew dug towards the power station to speed up the process. So it only took one year to dig this engineering That's marvel. It. One year. One and what year. were they using to dig? Pickaxes and dynamite. Pickaxes. Pickaxes. It's incredible. Yes. 
Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. This is your workplace. This is my workplace. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Uh, Missy, it's a little misty out here. You did warn me that my hair could grow a little bit Absolutely. because of all the mist. How do I look? Fantastic. Yeah, we're yeah. looking good. Oh, we look great. Uh, speaking of good, this is a spectacular view. I mean, not me, obviously, my hair, but this is unbelievable. And I hear it's really great at night. It is. Okay, we're coming back. We're coming back. <laughs> it was so misty, it just kept growing. All right, next week, we're going to show you what the power station is like at night, and it is spectacular, by the way. I have some exciting news. We are teaming up with Niagara Parks to give away an awesome prize pack. So here's the thing. You could win a one night stay at the Howard Johnson Plaza by Wyndham by the Falls dinner at Table Rock Bistro and Wine Bar and four Niagara Parks Adventure Plus passes. All you have to do is head to our X page, formerly known as Twitter. Our handle is at your morning and repost the contest post. Make sure you're following us as well. Good luck. Your morning is brought to you in part by Niagara Parks. One park, endless exploration. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.